Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this beautiful women's cardigan or sweater. This is a very pretty stitch I have used and this is a very unique pattern. Okay, you don't see the pattern anywhere. So this is very easy beginner's pattern. You have to repeat two rows for the whole sweater. So for this project I am using this red hot super saver yarn. This is a four ply yarn. And you can use any type of four ply on for this project. And this is a flamingo color. This is a very nice color. And this is a 200 grams of yarn each ball. So I am using three ball for this project. So um, this is a very nice color and nice yarn and 100% acrylic. Okay, you can change the hook size based on the size of the project. Okay, I am using H5MM hook. This sweater will suit for medium size, large size. Okay, if you want, you can increase the hook size based on XL size or small size project. So, first we need to make a chain 77. The chain should be multiples of 4 plus 1. Okay, whatever size you, you want to make, you can. But the chain should be multiples of 4 plus 1. You have to repeat 4, 4, 4, 4 chains, additional 1 chain. So, I have completed 74 chains now. Adding extra 2 chains. You have to skip 3 chains. In the 4th chain, you have to make a double crochet. So, this row is a double crochet row so you need to make double crochet in every stitch till the end of this row so in this row at the end you will get 77 double crochet so you just continue making a double crochet in each chain so if you really like my videos tutorial or uh, if you really like my patterns please do subscribe button and press notification bell icon so to get a regular updates, I am posting a lot of unique stitches in my short video. So uh, please don't forget to see those videos. Though Those are all very unique stitches. You just continue this double crochet till the end of this row. So I have completed row 1. So I have got 77 double crochets. Okay. So make sure you should get 77 double crochets. Now row 2, chain 3, turn your work. So next stitch, make a front post double crochet. Next stitch, back post double crochet. Then front post double crochet. Back post double crochet. You have to repeat front post back post front post back post till the end of this row okay this is the ribbing if you want you can use uh, multiple colors for this cardigan but i have used the uh, single color it looks too good so you just repeat front post, back post, front post, back post like this till the end of this row. Till here. So I have completed. Now I am going to make front post double crochet. Then chain stitch you have to make a double crochet. So two rows completed. Now we are going to start working on row 3, chain 3, turn your work. Make first stitch is a back post double crochet right. In this way you, have, you can see front post, this way is a back post. So you have to make a back post double crochet in the next stitch. Similar way you need to do the stitch. And then front post double crochet in the next. Back post double crochet in the next.
ஃப்ரெண்ட் போஸ் டபுள் குரோஷே இன் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸோ பேக் போஸ் டபுள் குரோஷே ஃப்ரெண்ட் போஸ் டபுள் குரோஷே ஸோ லைக் திஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு ரிப்பீட் ஃப்ரண்ட் போஸ்ட் பேக் போஸ்ட் லைக் திஸ் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் யூ கேன் டூ 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 த்ரீ ரோஸ் ஓகே இஃப் யூ லைக் த ரிப்பிங் பார்ட் பட் ஐ ஐ வில் டூ ஓன்லி திஸ் ரோ நெக்ஸ்ட் ரோ வி வில் ஸ்டார்ட் ஒர்க்கிங் ஆன் தி பேட்டர்ன் ஓகே ஸோ யூ ஜஸ்ட் ரிப்பீட் லைக் திஸ் டில் தி எண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் தி ஃப்ரண்ட் சைட் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் த பேக் சைட் இட் லுக்ஸ் போத் லுக்ஸ் சேம் ஓகே ஸோ யூ ஜஸ்ட் ரிப்பீட் டில் எண்ட் ஸோ ஐ ஹவ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் நவ் back post double crochet in the next stitch and then double crochet in the last chain stitch to finish this round okay now chain 3 turn your work so this row is a double crochet row so you have to make a double crochet in every stitch so we need to work two side of the cardigan this is a front side and we need to uh, work on back side also okay and we need to attach the two then finally we will work on sleeve part so make double crochet in every stitch see have to make like this till the end so i have completed double crochet rows now next row is a single crochet row so chain 1 turn your work make a single crochet in the same stitch then single crochet in every stitch so i have given subtitles okay so make a single crochet like this till the end so completed five rows completed now single crochet in the last chain stitch you have to make a single crochet in the stitch okay not in the space okay 3 4 5 so five rows completed right now row 6 so chain 3 turn your work so this is the pattern now we need to skip one stitch we have to work on double crochet row okay like alpha in stitch so uh, skip one stitch and in the next stitch make a three front post double crochet here okay in this double crochet you have to make three front post double crochet so this three front post double crochet we should work on previous double crochet rows okay uh, next stitch you will be working in a single crochet and then previous double crochet so front post double crochet you have to work on the uh, double crochet stitch so three front post double crochet like this you have to make now have to skip one stitch in the next stitch you have to make a double crochet next stitch here you have to make a double crochet here you can see three stitches we have skipped okay so every time you have to skip three stitches like this so you can check cross check in the backwards three stitches you will get now skip one stitch and in the next double crochet so uh three front post double crochet 
वन टू थ्री ओके दिस इज दी पैटर्न ऑफ दी कार्डिगन नाउ स्कीप वन स्टिच इन द नेक्स्ट स्टिच मेक अ डबल क्रोशे एंड देन स्कीप वन स्टिच सो इन द मिडल यू विल गेट थ्री डबल क्रोशे राइट सो नेक्स्ट फोर्थ डबल क्रोशे यू हैव टू मेक अ थ्री फ्रंट पोस्ट डबल क्रोशे वन टू थ्री and then skip one stitch and in the next stitch make a double crochet so very easy pattern okay and then again skip one stitch make a three front post double crochet 1 2 then skip one stitch in the next stitch make a double crochet so you have to repeat the same pattern see here this is a very very uh, pretty stitch and this is looks like 3d stitches okay and uh, you will not get uh, much space in this uh, type of pattern so here you can see 3 3 stitches we have skipped back in the backwards okay so you just continue by making three front post double crochet double crochet three front post by skipping one one stitch in the middle till the end of this row okay so make sure you should make a double crochet by skipping one stitch okay repeat till end so i have completed see here it looks like this now this is the last um skip one stitch and this is the last three uh, front post double crochet so one so you will get 19 uh three double crochet clusters in this row okay and then skip one stitch make a double crochet in the last stitch so we have completed six rows now row 7 row 7 is a very simple row we need to make a single crochet so chain one turn your work make a single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in every stitch till the end of this row so this uh, row 6 and row 7 is there right so you need to repeat the two so row 8 row, row 9 so we need to repeat four rows okay only changes is starting and ending but rest all the follow the same pattern so you have to make a single crochet like this till the end of this row Okay. So like this you have to make and we need to repeat that row 6. So row 7 completed. So single crochet in the last chain stitch. Now row 8, so chain 3, turn your work. So this round you have to start with double crochet in the same stitch that row 6 we have started with one double crochet right one double crochet one cluster now we have to make a two double crochet so here in the same stitch you have to make a double crochet okay and then skip one stitch in the next stitch here you have to make a double crochet in the middle of the double crochet is there right so here you have to make a double crochet so we have to starting and ending will differ in this row and then skip one stitch then that skipped uh, double crochet is there right so here you have to make a three front post double crochet so every skipped double crochet you can see in the middle of the three clusters so that double crochet is in every double crochet so you have to make three front post double crochet and then every middle of double crochet you need to make a double crochet okay then next skip one stitch and make a front three front post double crochet in the next so 1 2 3 
3 and then skip one stitch make a double crochet in the next stitch skip one stitch make a three four um, three front post double crochet one two three skip one stitch and make a double crochet in the next so you have to repeat like this okay so three double front post double crochet double crochet like this till the end of this row only starting and ending point will change rest all you have to follow the same pattern so you have to make a three front post double crochet here here every double crochet is over here okay and then in the middle every middle you have to make a double crochet so i have completed see the design of the cardigan so now you have to skip one stitch and make a double crochet in the next then skip one stitch make a two double crochet in the last stitch so this is the only change okay and then next row will be the similar row so these rows you need to repeat six row six row seven row eight so and then row nine you have to repeat the four rows for the entire cardigan okay and then next row so um, we'll change the starting and ending point so that you will get the nice design of the dress now chain one turn your work single crochet in the same stitch then single crochet in every stitch i hope you understand the pattern this is a very easy beginner pattern you should only uh, know the front post double crochet single crochet and double crochet stitches so make a single crochet like this till the end of this row so i have completed now you need to make a single crochet in the last stitch to finish this round single crochet in the next then single crochet in the next so nine rows completed now row 10 chain 3 turn your work so this row 10 is similar to row 6 so whatever you followed in the row 6 same pattern you have to follow here see this row 6 pattern similar way you have to do now right so you have to skip one stitch that means the double crochet stitch in the next stitch make a three front post double crochet there is a only change in the starting and ending as i said middle part you have to follow with the pattern so three front post double crochet and then skip one stitch make a double crochet in the next skip one stitch make a front post double crochet in the next one three front post double crochet so two three then skip one stitch double crochet in the next and then skip one stitch make a three front post double crochet one two three and then skip one stitch make a double crochet in the next then skip one make a front three front post double crochet so you have to repeat the same pattern till the end so at the end you have to finish with three front post double crochet double crochet okay and then start with single crochet next so you have to repeat the four rows row six row seven row eight row nine okay so you have to complete till row 47 15 inches you have to complete see here the starting portion is uh, one double crochet 
then two double crochet that you have to uh, do it alternately and at the end you have to finish it is similar way at the starting okay you just continue uh, like this till row 47 so or you have to measure 15 inches till 15 inches you have to do so i have completed one part see here i will show you clearly so ribbing part i have done same pattern i have followed so till 15 inches so till here so 47 rows i have completed and then neck portion so you have to complete this part so after that i will explain you the sleeve part so here see one double crochet and then two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet so in the middle you have to do a single crochet row okay so like that you have to proceed with the pattern the similar way at the end you have to finish with two double crochet finish with one double crochet finish with two double crochet finish it one double crochet that is also similar way okay so um, rest all you have to follow the pattern so you just complete like this 47 rows after that i will explain you the uh, sleeve part i have completed one part as i said earlier so i will explain you the uh, size of the dress based on that you can increase 47 to 49 rows or decrease okay so uh, this is the design design of the uh, pattern okay so uh, i have completed 47 rows here till here and then um, extra two rows i have made in the back side for front side in the neck portion i have reduced to one rows and shoulder part i have completed so we can measure so in the body uh, width is 20 20 inches width we can either increase or decrease based on the size and then here 15 inches here to here you can increase to 17 and length is 22 inches top to bottom and then neck till sleeve here is a 8 inches okay so this is the measurement of the dress what i make okay so if you want you can add that adding more inches or reducing the uh, size back side and front side so so this is the back side of the um, design okay this is the front side of the design so we have to start working on the sleeve part and then shoulder part and then we have to join it together so the pattern looks like this okay so um front side and back side there is a little difference i'll show you so i have completed c uh, sorry for the dim light so i have completed till 15 inches so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, 20 clusters. But the rows count is 47 rows. So, now this is the back side of the dress. So, you can measure. It should be exactly same till the sleeve. There is a little change in the uh, chest portion. So I have completed till here. After that we have to do the uh, next side. Right. So here you have to uh, do a sleeve portion. And then. Here also you have to do a sleeve portion. And then we need to make a neck and shoulder part. Okay. And that's it. That also is a very simple way i will show you later on we will working on a shoulder part so 48th row 47 rows we have completed right so this is the 48th row 48th row is chain one turn your work so you have to make a slip stitch in the same stitch like this and then slip stitch in the next to five stitches so you have to make a slip stitch in six stitches okay so so that we can reduce six stitches in 
beginning and at the end so this is the third slip stitch fourth slip stitch fifth slip stitch sixth slip stitch so six stitches we have redu reduced right after that we'll start working on the pattern so we have to start working on single crochet in every stitch so like this you have to make a single crochet in every stitch till the last six stitches left okay so you have to do a single crochet like this till six stitches before till here you have to do it so i have completed now you have to make so six stitches we have to leave so make a single crochet in the last stitch so 65 single crochet we will get now chain 3 turn your work 77 we already made right so minus 12 okay now double crochet in the same stitch so chain 3 and turn double crochet in the same stitch skip one stitch in the next stitch make a double crochet and then skip one stitch then the next double crochet you have to make a three front post double crochet one two three then skip one stitch make a double crochet in the next skip one stitch make of three front post double crochet in the next Then skip one stitch make a double crochet in the next skip one stitch make a three front post double crochet this is similar to row eight okay so like this you have to repeat till the end of this row okay whatever we followed the same pattern you have to follow here till till the single last single crochet here you have to do so you leave that last six slip stitch now you have to make a two double crochet skip one stitch and in the last single crochet you have to make two double crochet okay so 48th row completed i mean 49th row completed so now chain one turn your work 48 single crochet rows 49th row this and then this is a 40 50th row so make a single crochet in every stitch so after that you can you know the pattern right so the same pattern you have to follow next round you no need to start with two double crochet you have to start with one double crochet end with one double crochet and then single crochet row and then two double crochet end with two double crochet for front side you have to complete 68 rows for the back side you have to complete 70 rows see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two
will working on shoulder part so both are same see here so one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty then thirty one thirty two thirty two cluster uh, we were made in the front side and back side this is the front side thirty two back side thirty three and we'll be start working on the shoulder part that is not a rows that is a cluster rows so you have to do a single crochet in the shoulder part okay so so here you have to make a single crochet and there you have to make a single crochet so chain 1 turn your work so make a single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet in next 19 stitches so 2 3 4 totally 20 single crochet we need to make okay so you have to make a 20 single crochet like this so i have completed 20 single crochets now chain 1 turn your work make a single crochet in the same stitch and then again single crochet in all the stitches so you have to do like this for the other side also shoulder part we need to make four right front two sides back two sides so till end so i have completed now make a single crochet in the last stitch then fasten off the yarn so one side shoulder we have completed like the similar way you have to do it for other side also so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so from here onwards we have to start making a chain chain one single crochet in the same stitch and then single crochet in every stitch so if 20 single crochets you have to make till here and then single crochet in the last stitch to finish this round and chain 1 turn your work make a single crochet in same stitch then single crochet in all the stitches so 20 single crochets so i just complete till end so i have completed single crochet in the last stitch so we have almost completed then you have to join them together after that we need to work on the sleeve part so the part 1 is till here part 2 is a sleeve portion okay so so i'll upload part 2 tutorial by tomorrow so the both side you have to join if you want you can sew them or you can use a slip stitch method so here you have to make a single crochet okay so here you have to make a single crochet both left and right side for the front and back portion four sides you have to make a single crochet so from here onwards starting from here till end and then this side also this side i have completed a single crochets so that similar way we have to follow 
four side you have to make a single crochet the main thing is the single crochet count is a very important so you have to follow the same number of count for the four sides okay so uh, i have completed for the back portion i have completed the single crochet row for front portion we need to work on the single crochet row so uh, till sleeve we'll get 30 single crochets then after that the sleeve to till end 54 single crochet that is the main thing okay so totally 84 single crochet we need to get for each side 84 84 84 84 for the for all four sides you have to get 84 single crochets so chain one single crochet in the stitch so you no need to work on the um, space you have to work on the stitches so that you will not uh, find any holes in the dress so uh, so make sure you count a single crochet and then make the stitches otherwise it will not correctly um, we cannot join them a similar way it will be like um, irregular shape so that's why i am telling we will be getting 30 single crochets till the sleeve part after that 54 single crochet okay so you just count it and then make a single crochet so single crochet in every stitch like this so like this way you have to make a single crochet whatever size you can make you can you you can make the sweater but main thing is the single crochet count so that we can easily join them together so make a single crochet in every stitch like this okay so you just repeat like this till here okay now i've completed the single crochets now you have to make a single crochet here then single crochet in this space because we already made a slip stitch right so we can work in the space a single crochet so till this single crochet i have got 30 single crochets so please make sure you should get 30 single crochets till here after that you just complete single crochets till end you will get 54 single crochet so that please make sure so single crochet like this And then single crochet in every stitch. So you just continue by making a single crochet till the end so you have to do the same for remaining three sides so all four sides you need to make a single crochet so you will get 54 single crochet till the end here till end so you just complete here also single crochet row i have already completed and then other side also so all four sides i have completed a single crochet row and this is the shoulder portion this is the back side so here also you need to uh, join the shoulder portion and then body portion together so i can keep it like this so these two we have to join and then there too this is the neck portion and that is a other another shoulder portion 
so we have to join in the back side of the two panels not in the u front side you have to take the reverse side and you have to join these together these two together if you want you can sew them otherwise i'll explain you the slip stitch method then here four sides you have to join I mean, now i can take the back side of the two panels so back side the, these two are front side so we have to take a outer portion as a back side now so we can join then insert the hook in the first stitch here in both side of the first stitch insert the hook like this then again insert the hook then join the yarn chain 1 now you have to make a slip stitch in the back loops only okay here in the back loop then also back loop only in the back loop of the stitch like this then make a slip stitch so you have to do the similar way in the for the body portion also so back loop and then again stitch in the back loop make a slip stitch and then back loop again back loop slip stitch this is a very easiest way for the joining of the cardigan so you just do it like this okay it will be look like this and the front side it will be not uh, visible the joining part just continue till end so i have completed now i am going to finish it off the joining in the last stitch do the similar way for the other side shoulder then chain 1 fasten off the yarn that's it see this is the front side view you cannot see the joining portion it looks like sewing only so you have to do the similar way here from here onwards you have to start till here so i have done the two sides you can take like this so front side and back side you can see right little bit lower now in the side also you have to do the similar way because we already made a single crochet right so we just make a joining in the back side okay you can take the back side only in joining in the inner inner part not in the outer part you can take like this and then continue making a sing, slip stitch in the two back loops so chain 1 then back loop back loop make a slip stitch back loop in the stitch make a slip stitch so back loop back loop of the stitch 
make a slip stitch then again so you have to do like this till the end see so till here you have to join and also other side also so i have completed the joining part so i have done with the all four sides both front panel and back side panel i have joined them okay so sleeve portion i'll tell you in the part 2 so here if you want you can add single crochet or ribbing part okay thank you very much